my eyes were closed Now I see clear as day And I just wanted to say That you can take me high Feels like I can fly You can take me high please consider giving this video a big thumbs up and hitting that subscribe button. We upload parenting and lifestyle videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And today I am here to show you my $120 an hour work from home routine as a work from home, stay at home mom. Today, Kaylee woke up at 6 a.m. and we are starting by making breakfast. If you do not know or you haven't seen my other videos, I love making breakfast breakfast like a big big breakfast so most days I will try to make a larger size breakfast for the kids they absolutely love it and it just seems like they have a better day when they've had a lot to eat in the morning while I'm making breakfast I'll go ahead and tell you exactly what it is that I do for my job that gets me $120 an hour so you guys have seen before that I've been waking up at 4 a.m. and I've been teaching in the morning before my kids even wake up. And that is fantastic. I make about $20 an hour doing that. But recently, a couple of friends told me about this new program called OutSchool. For this, you make your own classes and your own curriculum. You choose the class size, you choose what the cost is, and you choose the times that you are going to teach. With this program, I've created a reading and phonics class that was immediately a big hit and is getting booked to capacity pretty much every time that I teach it. Because of my booking rate and the price that I have my class set to, I will make between $60 and $90 for every 25 minute class I make, meaning that I make a minimum of $120 an hour or I can make up to $180 an hour. As you see, after breakfast, Everly pretty much goes right back down for a nap. She wakes up to poop and eat and goes right back to sleep. <laughs> after I put her down for a nap, I'll go ahead and start getting ready for the morning. Danny will watch the kids and play with them while I am teaching. I don't do a whole lot to get ready, but I do put on some light makeup so that I don't terrify the young children that I'm teaching. So I know a lot of you are going to ask exactly how to get this job. I will leave a link in the description box that you can use to get to the website. If you use that link, you'll also get $20 off of your first class, but you can also use it to apply if you would like. You do not, I repeat, do not need a degree to work here. As long as you have a passion in something or you're really good at something or super knowledgeable about it, you can go ahead and create a class and teach it. And that is what I'm doing here with Paw Patrol. Now I do have a special education degree, but I'm doing phonics and as you can see we are fishing for letters with Paw Patrol characters and this is basically all my class is. We go over all of the letters. Every single class is different because I don't even know what letters we're going to be learning that day. I leave it up to my little magnetic fishing rod to pick my letters for me and we teach it. All of the kids get to introduce themselves, they get to introduce their favorite Paw Patrol character and we just sing and dance and have a lot of fun. After that, it is time for coffee. Surprisingly, this is my first coffee for today, but I'll probably have, I don't know, three, four, 12 more, who knows. So my daughter Kaylee is very, very energetic and she is just a lot of kid to deal with, with her energy level and her impulses. So today she absolutely needs to get outside and play. I got these cute little umbrellas for outside because the sun is kind of harsh right now so I like to put up these little umbrellas and then we'll put their water table or splash pad or something under the umbrellas. That way they are in the shade. I do like to put sunscreen on them but trust me if you have a toddler putting sunscreen on a toddler is sometimes like a full out war. Madeline didn't want to come out right away but she will be out later. For now Kaylee is splashing around and enjoying her playtime and honestly guys as long as it's a good day out and the kids are well behaved because kids outside can even lose their mind sometimes but as long as we're having a good day this is one of my favorite parts of the day is just sitting outside in the breeze drinking my coffee and watching my kids play. 
Now I know you might be thinking, shouldn't you be working? Aren't you working? You make $120 an hour. What are you doing just sitting outside? The great thing about my job is it's totally flexible and I can do it whenever I want with the schedule that I make. So I decide to work just one hour in the morning and get my $120 to $180 for that day and then be done. I know that sounds crazy, but honestly on the low end I make $2,400 a month and on the high end I make $3,600 a month using this method. So. I choose to just teach that one hour. Of course, I could make so, so, so much more, but since I am making enough money to sustain our lifestyle, I choose to just work the hour because look at these precious kids and dogs. I don't wanna lose any time with them. Money is a number and I just choose to work the minimum that we need to survive and spend the rest of my time with my children. Now, of course, if I was working a job that paid much less than that, I would have to spend a lot more time at my computer, but this gives me so much freedom and so much time with my kids. And honestly, my previous job where I was waking up at 4 a.m., it makes such a difference now to be able to wake up when my kids wake up and not have to be up so early and be so tired. So I'm very, very grateful for this job and the friends that got me into this job. My kids are playing a game of sink or float right now. They're just collecting things around the yard and putting it into their water table to see if they sink or float. They love this activity inside or outside. They will put their toys in the sink or in the bathtub and watch them sink or float. It's a really good learning activity, so if you are able to do this with your kids, I definitely suggest letting them play around of sink or float. See what they find, see what sinks, see what floats, explain to them why it happens. And yeah, it's just a lot of fun. Next up on our list of things to do is start on our lunch. We were planning on grilling for dinner, but when I looked at the weather, it is supposed to be wicked outside during dinner time. So we're changing plans and we are going to grill for lunch. The kids do love hot dogs. I don't really like feeding them hot dogs, but they love hot dogs. I am having a grilled veggie patty from Morningstar. It's the black bean, spicy black bean burger, I think is what it's called. And Danny really wanted some Italian sausages. So we threw those on the grill and we are cooking those guys up. I'm finishing off my kids' lunch by giving them an orange and some mac and cheese. They'll also have an apple juice. They like to have a juice around lunchtime or after they're done playing versus water. I don't know why, they just like it. But they absolutely love this lunch. I know it's not the best lunch, so don't come at me. I'm trying to do my best here, but they're happy and they eat it and that's what matters. Here is the rest of the items off of the grill. Danny will just have his sausage in a hot dog bun with nothing on it and will add some chips on the side. For anyone wondering, Danny does also work from home. He works a full eight hour shift in our bedroom, so he has a little office set up there, so I'll just bring the food over to the door and he can come get it. I'm not really allowed to be in there while he's working, so he can come get his food and bring it back out when he's done. Now I'm making my burger, so like I said, this is the veggie burger from Morningstar. I'm just putting some cheese. I put a little bit of guacamole ranch underneath of the burger. I'm going to top it with a tomato and some mashed avocado. And this is a pretzel roll that we got from Aldi and it is so good. After lunch and since the kids were just outside playing, they're a little tired. So they will sit around and watch cartoons for about an hour. This gives me time to get some work done or Today, I will be sitting around and doing our online grocery order. I do a lot of delivery groceries. I think it's super great because I don't have to pack the kids up to go to the grocery store, especially in the middle of a pandemic. But not only that, it's able to come to my house and I'm also paying for somebody else to have their job. So somebody else is being paid to pick up my groceries and that way they're also getting an income. I think that's super fantastic, so we do that. Next we are going to be cleaning up this room because holy disaster, it is a mess. Once I'm done cleaning the room, I'm going to start working on the vlog. I'm actually working on Everly's birthday vlog here. So I'm starting on editing and I leave the kids up for a little bit to see how much editing I can get done while they're awake. And then once they start losing their minds, I will put them to bed and continue editing the vlog. And I will do some cleaning like the dishes or mopping the floor or anything like that during nap time as long as I get a long enough nap, nap time. 
with three kids, you never know. Madeline doesn't take a nap, so once I'm done editing, we'll go downstairs and play. Everly, as you can see, did not take a very good nap, so she is awake already. Since I got all of my work done and Madeline is up, we're gonna go ahead and clean up the playroom. Everly did wake up while I was cleaning, so we brought her down. But this is our basement playroom. My office is down here, and even though it looks like a complete train wreck, it's really not too bad. We have little mini storage bins. That way we don't have a lot of stuff down here. It makes it really, really easy for it to be put away. Cleaning the area maybe takes five minutes or so. It's really not super long, but then this happens. My kids knocked over the camera and it is broken. So for the rest of this video, I have a broken camera and I will have to use my iPhone to finish out this video. So if the video quality from the rest of the way out is really bad, I'm super sorry. Danny gets an hour lunch break sometime around five or six. We are just heating up leftover pizza from Everly's birthday party and sitting around and playing and watching cartoons or whatever we decide to do. Sometimes we play hide and seek or tag, which is really bad to teach your kids to run in the house, but we do it. Before Danny heads back to work, he decided that he wants an ice cream sundae. So we made an ice cream sundae for everybody. The kids absolutely love this. They like to decorate their ice cream sundae. So today they chose to put chocolate shell on top and some pink sprinkles. And Danny just always has a full out sundae with whipped cream and everything. After that, that nasty storm I was telling you about started and it didn't stop here. It was a nasty one. For the rest of the evening, we're just going to play around, read books. We like to dance. Sometimes we'll put on the Mother Goose Club nursery rhymes and we will have a big dance party. But the kids will go to bed around 8 and they asked Danny to put them to bed today. So I am headed back down to my office to edit a video for another channel. I have a gaming channel as well. So I will stay up until about 10 or 11 at night to edit videos and do voiceovers on those videos and get those out from my gaming channel. But that is my entire day. So thank you guys so much. The only thing that's left for me to do is wash my face, brush my teeth, and head to bed. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Feels like I can fly. You can take me high